you are looking for a fast and reliable way to restore your website and trust me you've come to the right place we've helped over a million sites over the last 10 years do the exact same thing restoring your website manually now i'm going to give you a fair warning restoring your website manually is a complex and lengthy process and it's quite risky but in some cases you might not have an option for example if you don't have access to your wordpress dashboard in such cases you can't use a plugin to recover your website so the manual methods of using ftp c panel and php my admin are your only option so let's get into the steps of restoring your website manually step number 1 download your backup if your backup file is on some cloud storage service like google drive download the zip file first step number 2 log into the c panel and delete all your files That's right. Delete all your files. You can go into the public underscore HTML folder, select all the files, and delete all of it. Now, if you go and check your website at this point, you're gonna see that the site no longer exists. Step number three: Go to PHP My Admin in cPanel and delete your site's database table. This part is a little tricky. You have to know which database to delete. If you're not sure, it's usually the database with the format WP underscore site name, and that's the one you want to delete. Just in case you're still not sure, head over to this location, and you can see what the name of the database is. Then go to that database, download a copy, and delete all the tables. Step number four: re-upload the files. You can do this step using cPanel or using FTP. We'll take a look at each. If you're using cPanel's file manager, upload the zip file directly to the public HTML folder. You can then use the file manager to extract files directly from the zip file. Alternatively, you can use the FTP to manually upload each file. So connect your site to an FTP client like FileZilla and simply upload all the files. Step number 5, re-upload the database. This is not recommended if your website is hacked. If your website is hacked, you have to create a new database because re-uploading the same database will cause a restore attempt failure 9 out of 10 times. Finally, add the database to PHP My Admin and that's all. You're done. If you manage to do this successfully, good for you, but this issue might occur again. So this is a great time to start using Blogworld's backup service because it's going to save you a lot of tension later on down the line. If you still haven't been able to restore your WordPress from backup, chances are that your backup might be corrupt. Or maybe you have an XML file which isn't actually a backup. In that case, you can attempt a recovery without a backup. and i'm going to tell you how to do that restoring a wordpress website if you don't have backups is a very tricky thing to do there is no surefire way of doing this i'm going to show you two of the best ways to do this and in all likelihood you might be able to gain at max 70% of your website but 70% is better than 0% so let's get into these two methods to use google's cached content to restore your website head over to this url and then replace this part of this url with your website's own url this will fetch the last cached version of your site click on view source to see the source code then copy the code reinstall wordpress on your website create a new page and paste the code for bing you can't directly fetch a cached version of your website using a formula so instead you need to search for your web page when it shows up in the bing search engine right next to the url you should see a down arrow click on that arrow Then click on the view cached page and repeat the same process as before. There's no guarantee that you're going to recover your full site, but you might recover a part of it.